Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this episode, we'll be discussing how to balance acid and base reactions. Let's go ahead and get started with our example. We're going to be balancing the reaction between sulfuric acid and calcium hydroxide. Well, there's something to notice on here that we can use as a trick to make this easier. The sulfate is a polyatomic ion that exists on both sides of the equation. Okay, this hydroxide, um, not necessarily on both sides of the equation. So what we're gonna do is we will group the SO4 together. So I'm gonna write the, uh, I'm gonna write each element under the reactants side. So we can keep track of that. This SO4, we're gonna consider that as one item since they're grouped together and traveling on both sides. Then we have our calcium and then we have an oxygen, okay? This hydrogen, I'm keeping it grouped up with this one over here because it's not really traveling on both sides of the equation. So on the product side, I'm gonna put my hydrogen, my SO4, my calcium and my oxygen. So at this point, we're just going to count the number of atoms of each element. So for hydrogen, we have two here, plus we have more hydrogens here. So the subscript of two outside the parentheses says we have to apply that to everything inside. So that means we have two hydrogens here. We have another two hydrogens there. So two plus two gives us four. We have one sulfate group. We have one calcium. All right, in this oxygen, we're only counting this one because the SO4 is grouped together. The, the subscript outside the parentheses applies to everything on the inside, so that means we have two oxygens. Now let's count on the other side of the equation. So now we have two hydrogens here. We have one SO4 group. We have one calcium group, and now we need to keep track of this oxygen right here. We're not counting the oxygens in the SO4 group because they are already listed right here. They're already accounted for. So we have one oxygen here. So it looks like what is out of balance is we have four hydrogens on the reactant side and only two on the product. We have two oxygens on the reactant side and there's, um, we only can account for one over here. All right, so let's see what we can do to balance this out. I like starting with the hydrogens first. And so I can ask myself, what number can I multiply times two to get four? Well, that's two. So two, times our subscript of two will give us four. We still only have one sulfate. We still only have one calcium and oxygen is gonna be affected by this coefficient of two. So two times one is gonna give us two. And so now it looks like we have a balanced equation. We have four hydrogens on both sides, one SO4 group on both sides, one calcium on both sides, two oxygens on both sides. If you found this video helpful, would you please consider like, commenting, or subscribing? And until next time, keep on learning.